Hey guys, welcome to your 8th Java programming tutorial. Um, it's 5.38 in the morning right now, so I'm going to make this a quick video, but I'm still going to explain everything in order to get you to actually be able to get it right. What, what, I'm what, you, what I taught you in the last lesson was that you can check to see if certain results will occur. Now, there's one thing that I didn't mention in my last video, and that's if you are checking to see if two numbers are the same. You don't use oops. You don't use an equal sign. You need to use two equal signs because whenever you have one equal sign, as you can see up here, one equal sign is declaring the er, is setting the variable to something. And we're not setting the variable to zero. We're checking to see if the number is equal to zero. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to keep this as 10. And I'm going to add a second part. Um, this new part is called your else if conditional statement. It's just another way, way of saying if, except it's making sure this is not true first. It's basically going to say, okay, the number that we input, if it's less than 10, but it's also greater than 2, then you can know that you're between the ages of 2 and, or you're between the ages of 3 and 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to else, and I'm going to add if afterwards. I'm going to do my parentheses, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually set it as a number. Um, so we're going to check to see if the number is going to be equal. Notice how I have two equal signs because we're at we're checking to make sure they're equal to each other. If the number is going to be equal to five, and if the number is equal to five, then what we're going to do is we're going to say. you are awesome and if you can read this which you should be able to by now you should be able to read what I've been writing it's going to say okay let's go through it first we're going to declare the variable then we're going to set its value then we're going to ask for the age and we're going to put it in now we're going to check to see if we're over 10 if we're over 10 years old then we're going to output this if we're not over 10 years old, but we are 5, then we're going to output this. And for this last part, all I need to do is type in else. Because now it's going to check if the number if your age is greater than 10, then it's going to output this. If your age is gr is less than 10 or is not equal, ugh if this is not true and this is not true then it's going to print this out it's checking to see it's checking two different things um, it's checking ugh, what am I trying to say it's checking to make sure two things are occurring before it gives up and this is just basically how it gives up um, this is kind of a short tutorial um, practice with these. I'll go into them more later. I'll teach you about booleans, which are used to actually return true or false, and you can actually know, like, hey, did this happen? If it did, let's say yes. Um, I'll see y'all later. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave comments and rate, please. Practice, practice, practice.